Tulsa Water holding an open house for community members this evening for questions to be asked and answered before construction begins on the Arroyo out in northwest El Paso. Now this is called the Arroyo One Dam Improvement Project. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto tells us more on the upcoming improvement project expected to start later this year. El Paso Water has been talking about the Arroyo One Dam Improvement Project for over eight years, and it's now finally getting into motion. It's to keep the structure in place and to prevent erosion. The Arroyo One Dam Improvement Project is a natural arroyo that meets at the intersection of Bear Ridge Drive and Franklin Hill Street in northwest El Paso that will soon be getting an upgrade. We're going to, to widen and stabilize it so that, uh, we, so that we mitigate the erosion that comes through the arroyo during large rain events. The $5.8 million project will help hold back the water and debris as it flows downstream into the existing infrastructure, which is surrounded by neighborhoods and the Franklin Mountains. It's green infrastructure, so eventually it'll blend in with the, with the environment and it's going to become part of, of the mountain on, and of the arroyo. The area of the Arroyo is known for having trails where people can run, walk, and bike, and will stay open during construction, although EP Water says safety is key, and community members agreeing that this project has solid planning. It doesn't seem to rain that much, but when I looked at that picture, I was like, I can understand why you would do that, because it's going downhill. Some residents in the area staying optimistic while voicing their opinions. So many people use those pathways, and they love the natural beauty of Paso. Adding it's something needed while also preserving the Sun City. I don't want the desert to look ugly and that's my main concern is that it's just not a bunch of cement back there. El Paso Water says this stormwater project will help improve the community by lessening the debris that flows through the canal. This project will start in March of this year and will finish by winter 2025. Reporting in Northwest El Paso, I'm Skylar Soto, KTSM 9 News.